In this lesson, we're gonna fetch this ABI. It's from JSON placeholder, and we're gonna fetch those list of posts using React Query. To start working with React Query, we need a very important step, and we should wrap our React code inside Query Client Provider. I'm gonna show how to do this. First, let's import from React Query. Let's import Query client and query client provider okay then let's wrap our react code with this query provider okay we're gonna create an instance of this class let's rename it with query client equals to new query client and just copy that and paste it as a property of the client property of this query client provider. This query client provider, it's like the Redux provider. It's a context. We provide all React code to make React query accessible to all React code. I mean all React components, okay? Now let's save and create our hook to fetch this ABI. Okay, let's copy this URL and go in our code inside our SRC folder. Let's create a folder called hox. Inside this hox, let's create a file called use get posts.ts. First, we need to import our use query from React Query. So, import from React query, we're gonna import use query because this will help us to create our custom hook. Okay, then let's create our hook const or use get posts equals to it's gonna be a function. Inside this function, we're gonna just return our use query and give them to very important property the first property is query key we use this query key to identify this hook if we want to refetch it again so this key is very important let's name it with posts this post key refer to this use get posts so make sure to put a unique key here so you can use it when you want to refetch or or do something else the first parameter is the fetch function, fetch, fetch posts. And this function is a function that's responsible for fetching the ABI. It's like, let's create it, const fetch posts equals to, it's gonna be async function. Let's create our ABI call, const data equals to fetch. Let's install Axios real quick. Just type yarn add Axios. So now we can type Axios. Axios is simpler and easier. Dot get and pass our endpoint. Okay, the base URL with the endpoint. Don't forget await keyword. And let's destruct this data and let's just return it. Now our last step is to export this hook. So let's export default use get posts. Let's save. Now let's test our hook. We have done with our hook. Let's test it. If we go to our home screen, let's use our object destruction to get all the data of that hook. The hook called use get posts. Okay. Now, if you look here, we can get the data of it. We can get is loading. That's mean what to do when the posts are loading. React query is very amazing library. You can also use the refetch. We use this refetch to refetch the data or to create this ABI call again. We have also 
error that's if we have any error we have also the status of our api call we have also okay now let's try to log our data so let's log our data let's see what we get in the console wow we have here our data from this api let's let's stringify it json dot stringify now with three this code to make the log beautified let's save look that's our log if you look here the user id the id of the post the title of the post the body of the post it's like here the user id the id the title the body we we successfully fetched our api in next lesson we're gonna render those data inside a flat list and we're gonna create an activity indicator i mean a loader when the data is loading and don't miss the lesson after because we're gonna create a pagination because if you see here we have here 100 posts we want to refetch or to fetch 10 by 10 i mean when the user scrolling when the user scrolling inside flat list he must get 10 more posts that's instead of rendering all of those 10 posts that's is gonna be better better optimization for api calls okay so don't miss next lessons and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching